The Yuma Territorial Prison in Yuma, Arizona, opened its doors on July 1st, 1876, while Arizona was still a U.S. territory. The prison closed on September 15th, 1909. During its time, 3,069 prisoners, 29 of whom were women, served sentences for crimes such as murder, polygamy, robbery in this hellhole. Some of the more notable inmates included train robbers Bert Alvord and Bill Downing, polygamist William Flake, stagecoach robber Pearl Hart, Mexican revolutionary Ricardo Flores Magon, the gunfighter Buckskin Frank Leslie, who killed Billy Claiborne, and Pete Spence, an outlaw involved in the famed Earp Clanton feud. In its day, the Yuma Territorial Prison was said to be impossible to endure, more impossible to escape. This is largely due to the fact that Yuma is the hottest city in the United States. Temperatures in Yuma exceed 90 degrees 175 days out of the year, and the region only receives about 3 inches of rain annually. Inmates at the prison were punished by the old ball and chain. Literally, a large ball and chain would be attached to their legs. There was also a snake den that was used to discipline unruly inmates. The dreaded dark cell was pitch black, where inmates were stripped down to their underwear and chained. Guards would throw in scorpions to further torment the prisoners. But by far, the leading cause of death in the prison was tuberculosis, which wiped out a number of inmates. Many of those are buried in unmarked graves outside the prison. The hopelessness, violence, and agony and suffering at the prison left behind an energy that today manifests itself in the form of paranormal activity. State historian Marshall Trimble said, The offices and museum have also seen their share of strange happenings. Things are often moved about, lights turned on and off, and on occasion, coins from the cash register in the gift shop literally flew into the air and landed in the back of the drawer. Trimble also told the story of a reporter in the aforementioned dark cell. He said one reporter planned to stay in the cell overnight, shackled to a ring bolt for 48 hours with a jug of water and a loaf of bread. But after 37 hours, called for help to be released, insisting that she felt she wasn't alone in the cell. Other strange phenomena in the prison include cold spots, anomalous photographs, murmuring voices, the feeling of being touched, and more. There's even a story of a little girl that haunts the prison who drowned in the Colorado River. She pokes and pinches visitors she doesn't like. <laughs>